everybody. This is Steve B. Bowman. When I was younger, I was raised by a military dad and my mom. And fortunately, they, they, you know, we were raised in areas where we did not deal with discrimination, racism at all. It was very mixed neighborhood. And I didn't face discrimination, hardcore discrimination until I moved into the corporate world. And boy, was I shocked. I didn't even know how to handle it. I didn't even recognize it. Somebody white told me what I was going through. And I said, no, it's, it's just not possible. And he said to me, look, you haven't gotten a raise in 20 years. And yet the awards that you've been bringing in for this company are countless for the work that you're doing. What, what do you think is going on? And I didn't have an answer. Then finally I woke up and I realized, yeah, I was being discriminated against big way. And don't ask me how, how did it, how did I not see it? I don't know. I had my head in the sand. But when I woke up, I woke up ready to kick butt. I said, what the hell? And I hired an attorney. And I ended up suing this company and another company after this and won. It took a lot. It took a lot health-wise from me. And I thought, but at least you've opened the doors to people of color for the future. I, I went into hiding for a long time because I had to recuperate. I was actually working at these companies while I was suing them. I was shunned by people of my color. I was shunned by all colors. I was contagious because I was fighting back. I said to myself, okay, it's time to come out of hiding. Do you have enough strength now to, to help? And I couldn't figure out what to do. But then I figured out, hey, you're an executive coach. You're a training person. What do you want to tell people? What do you want to train people as? And I thought, I want to train people that it's okay to ask questions. It's, it's okay to find out about another race because that's the only way that the races can come together. We talk about inclusion and we have no idea what inclusion is. So I came up with this idea of no blame, no shame, done from empathy, not feeling sorry. And we came up with a wonderful idea to do a collaboratorium. And I just learned how to pronounce that word. And it just means that we're working together in workshops. We are gonna spend time together. We have speakers that are insanely brilliant, but we only selected four because we want to spend the time to work together with organizations, with individuals, to learn to speak to each other, to learn to hear each other, to learn to listen to each other, to learn compassion for each other. And so starting June 21st, going to June 23rd, we have what's called the WE Collaboratorium. WE standing for Workplace Equity and Equality. WE, W-E-E, -E, you, and I and all of us together, we can solve this. We can do this. We know that we're all exhausted. We're stressed from trying to figure out what to do and how to do it. I propose a new way of doing it. It's not being talked to. It's not being blamed. It's not shaming people. It's coming together and talking and solving and listening and answering. So please come and join us.